What's up, everyone? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. If you're returning, thank you very much. Today, I'm going to be going over Unreal Engine 5.5. Uh, mainly displacement in 5.5. Since 5.5 is released, there's been a few changes along with Fab. Fab has restructured the way they set up their materials. Uh, I'm mainly speaking to Quixel here. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in Unreal Engine 5.5. The first thing we're gonna do is get our materials. So I'm gonna go over to Window, go down to Fab, and then inside Fab, I'm just gonna go over to the search bar and type in Ground. Um, this is going to bring us over to just assets for Quixel. Uh, so once you see this little circle, uh, go up to here, click the Q to go to the Quixel library. And now once you're in the Quixel library, the one I'm going to be using in this tutorial is the Mossy Rocky Ground. And it'll be this one right here. Uh, you can either click drag and drop, or if you click on it, you can pick the actual quality you want. In my case, I'm using high quality and then adding it to my project. So the first one I'm going to be teaching you is how to set up your landscape. So first I'm going to do a control space and here, uh, you'll see, let me drag this so you can see it. Uh, you'll see the fab, uh, go to Quixel, um, or sorry, you'll see fab, go to mega scans and then go to surfaces and then mossy rocky ground, which is going to be your material. Uh, I'm going to click right here to open up the high quality material and then right here, uh, I'm going to right click and create a material. So I'm just going to name this M underscore test and then open it up. Now in prior versions of Unreal Engine, you would have to go into the actual config file and type in like tessellation nanite one stuff like that. Now in 5.5, you don't need to do any of that. You just need to turn everything on. So to turn it on, if you just go over here, uh, one, make sure you're clicking on your material. Um, then go over here to the search bar and type in TESS and then enable tessellation. Once I do that, you're going to see displacement pops up right here. Um, so let me close out. And then now I'm going to do control space to bring up all of our textures and I'm going to drag and drop them in. And then let me just organize them real quick. Albedo up top, ORM, and then height. So before you used to only have three different textures, and that would be your Albedo, your normal, and your ORD. Your ORD is now become an ORM and then the height has been moved out. So to explain what an ORD is, it goes in the order of RGB. ORD uh, stands for ambient occlusion. Um, you can usually say ARD or ORD, it depends. In, in my case, they're, they're the same thing. Uh, but O is ambient occlusion, R is roughness, and in this case, M has turned into metallic. M used to be displacement, which is the height map, because that's how you displace your material. So now this is an ORM. If you click on it uh, and go to the blue channel, since this is Moss and has no metallic feature to it, it's going to be completely blank. So what we need, or would you like to, oh, because it's going to, I need to switch that out too. Okay, cool. Um, so now, since height is moved to its own channel, all you have to do is go over to RGB and bring that into displacement. And then when it comes to the R, you can do the R is ambient occlusion. Uh, the G is roughness. Uh, the B in this case, since there's no metallic, is blank. Uh, normal is still normal. And then Albedo into Albedo. And then apply and save. And now when we go in, click on our material, click on our landscape, and then click this little arrow, it's going to be added to our landscape. And if we zoom in, you're not going to see any displacement. So what you need to do for the landscape is just type in Nanite, uh, go to enable Nanite, and then go to build data. Once you do that, you will get displacement, but it's not working. And the reason it's not working is because the height map is no longer set up correctly. So if I go over here and I look at the height map, you're just going to see pure white. And that is an issue because it's showing no data. So what we need to do is actually click on the texture, go over to compression settings and switch this over to grayscale. Once I do that, you're gonna see now there's a bunch of information in there and I can save, but there's still one last thing. If I go into our material, you're gonna see our material now has an error. And if you look at it, it says sampler type is color should be grayscale. So if you go over here to left to sampler type, switch it also over to grayscale, you're gonna see it pop up, error goes away. If I click apply, and save, close it. Now, uh, displacement is way too intense, but it is active. So if you want to switch it down, you can always just go in here, type in displacement. And in my case, I'm just gonna do 0.5, save, close. And 
still too much, but at least you get the idea. I just want this to be corrected because it bothers me. 0.1, I think it's actually 0 0.05. Let's do 0 0.05. Apply, close, and now our displacement is looking a lot more natural. So that's how you would set up displacement when it comes to your landscape. When it comes to a normal material, if I just go in here, or sorry, object, if I go in here to shapes, bring in a sphere, let me bring you up here and then uh, split you in two. So let me grab you, put you on one. Uh, it doesn't want to appear. There we go. And then you on the other. You are not going to see too much of a difference, but you can actually adjust this by clicking on it. And then let me go over to the nanite and you can increase the nanite a little more. Um, I realize this is now going to increase our other one, but let's just do 10 to make it a little more drastic. Apply. Um, let me undo you so you're no longer in the way. And you'll see it is already enabled. So when it comes to normal objects, you don't really need to do anything new. Uh, you can just add it in, make sure your uh, material set up correctly with the grayscale added to the height. But other than that, it should work fine. And then if you're using the basic one from just Quixel, it doesn't have displacement, unfortunately. Um, so you will need to be using this. Actually, let me go in. Is it not using displacement? <clears throat> yeah, it's not using displacement, which I find to be... Oh, or you can hook in displacement manually, it looks like. And then if I do TESS, you can enable it. Apply. Interesting. I wonder if it is actually set up. So I can save and then yeah, nanite is enabled. So that's the other way you can do it. If you want, you can also hook in the nanite in the actual material if you're only using that material. But when it comes to setting up your own materials using the textures from Fab, say you want to make a blended material, you will need to take my method where you switch it over to grayscale as well. So hopefully this was helpful for anyone curious about how to set up uh, displacement in Unreal Engine 5.5. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.